Well, good morning, and I'm so happy for another Sunrise with Pastor Opportunity Privilege here. You know, sometimes those little incidents that happen in our life, we sometimes may call it bad luck or some misfortune. And uh, I know that uh, I've heard some people, they have so many of those little incidents, they say if it wasn't for my bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Uh, I can't say that. I've got a lot of good things that happen as well. But we all, from time to time, we may have a little incident that comes up in our life, and we may just kind of, you know, be all upset with it and get in a bad mood over it and wonder why in the world that little thing had to happen. But I don't think we ought to view sometimes all of that as bad luck or misfortune. It might be some of those little things that happen that we tag as bad luck or misfortune. It's really just a wake-up call. It may be an indication that, hey, you better slow down and you better start being a little bit more careful. Now, I consider myself to be a good driver. I read somewhere that most men overestimate their driving ability, but I don't think I'm overestimating my driving ability when I say I'm a good driver. I have had a few accidents in my life, but uh, the one where I went to sleep, that really wasn't my fault because I'm not responsible for what I do when I'm sleeping. And another time, you know, I didn't see a car coming and pulled out in front of it, but that's many, many years ago when I was a lot less experienced than what I am now. The other two or three cars that I demolished, well, it was somebody turning in front of me or hitting me. So can't really say that, you know, all the accidents are my fault. I still consider myself to be a good driver. And yet, as I was driving along, I spoke with my son, John, and to help him out, I'd gone to the motor vehicle department and renewed the tags on his car and uh, had made arrangements to meet him somewhere as he was traveling home from work. And so, uh, as usual, I left way too early and driving down the interstate, I've got plenty of time. I'm gonna swing by one of the thrift stores. And so I shashayed through the thrift store and coming down Truman Road, I passed a pawn shop. And I, I like to browse around in a pawn shop once in a while. I've never pawned anything in my life, but pawn shops can be kind of interesting to browse through. So I saw this pawn shop and I thought, I think I'll uh, just stop there. I've got about 15 minutes to kill. So I made the next right turn and circled around the block so that I could come up and park in front of the pawn shop that I had just passed. And coming out of the street onto Truman Road where the pawn shop was located, Rather a large curb set, uh, sticking out. Looked to me like they had reconfigured that curbing to uh, accommodate a handicap ramp, and it was just sticking out a little far. And I was uh, noticing cars in the inside lane, uh, four lanes there, so uh, two eastbound lanes. And I noticed a car on the inside, in the inside lane, and I wanted to stay on the outside lane without hitting that other car, so. I turned rather sharply, and as I uh, turned, made that curve and accelerated, I hit that curve and I heard a tire blow. Well, I began to think, oh man, of all the bad luck. But then I thought, hey Hayton, that may be an indication that you need to start paying a little bit more attention while you're driving. Don't be so preoccupied with what you might see in the pawn shop that you get careless in your driving. Fortunately, I was just about a block away from a, from a used tire shop where I had purchased one tire not too long ago. So I crippled on in there and told the guy I needed another tire. And in uh, just a little while and $35 later, well, I was back on the road again. But you know, I, I didn't want to spend that $35 on a tire, and I was inconvenienced with what had happened, but I feel like, you know, that uh, when I take off the next time, I'm going to be aware that maybe I need to be a little bit more careful, better slow down a little bit, and uh, take ex an exercise caution in my driving. So you know, that blown tire, that might be the best thing that happened to me in a long time. So the little incidents in life, Maybe they're sent as a wake-up call, and you'd better wake up 
and uh, start being a little bit more careful. Heavenly Father, we thank you for those incidents. Thou did say in your word to give thanks for all things, and maybe sometimes those things that we find it difficult to be thankful for are for our own good. Now, Lord, we pray that you'll bless each one of th uh, those of our friends that have uh, listened to our little devotional today, and help each one of us, Lord, to uh, walk close to God, to be all that you want us to be, and we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.